Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is episode 30. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys having a fantastic night. Your first like goal is 100 likes. And uh, we will not be finishing the Trouble in Paradise quest because we can't transmutate the items necessary in order to continue. Now we've actually gone and collected the stuff and did the side quest up until completing the beach part. But there's no way for us to level up our, uh, uh, whatever is, transmuting thing. I'll our, show you. Our sand transmutation device. No. So I will probably be doing a grinding stream tonight, uh, trying to level up my transmuter thing, because we have all the necessary stuff here, but we can't unlock it because we're only a level... I have no idea. We need to be level 14. I think we're almost to level 12. But... Well, that doesn't sound like it's very close to level 14. No, it doesn't. It's not anywhere close to level 14. So, I mean, Whoa. I have no idea what to do. Um, I'm really upset that they literally locked a quest behind this transmuter thing because I barely use it. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of annoying. You have to be level 12 to make a high other. Uh... I'm sorry about that, Luke. Nope, I finally hit level 12. There you go. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. No, there wasn't. There really wasn't. Yes! We did it! Woo. We are the champions. Are we? Cause we I... are the champions. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Amber. So, we would need divine heartwood. I don't even know where you get divine heartwood, but... It's around somewhere. There are some things that cannot be gotten out there. They must be felt in here. Great. Okay, that's Divine Heartwood? You get it in your heart, Luke. Okay, don't don't do that to your chest. I'm explaining where the heartwood comes from. I'm explaining like that doesn't even level you up at all. You also have to find the ones that actually So yeah, we'll be going through and trying desperately to uh, unlock this stuff. So we'll have to do a grinding stream. It's the only way. It's literally the only way. Um, so we are level 12 now. So we need two levels in order to complete that thing. So tomorrow, hopefully, if I do that grinding stream. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe stuff will be nice to us. I don't know. Uh, if we can... Like, this one right here, it says it'll give us some stuff. Like, actually, it'll give us a lot. Look at that. That gave us... So, based on where the little Pac-Man thing shows there in the corner, that's when things happen. Sort of, kind of. Like, you can you can see when you're messing around with transmuter. Apparently, this stuff here is going to give us level 13. Holy cow. Maybe it is possible. Maybe it is freaking possible. I don't know. I don't see how, but sure. It can be, it can be miracles if when they happen. Yeah. But I still say it's stupid that they lock this thing behind the transmuter thing. I think it's dumb. And I, I mean that wholeheartedly. I think it's really stupid. That's because you don't care about the game's feelings. I don't care about the game's feelings. I think the game's feelings are stupid and lame. I can feel the game's heart and it's breaking. You want to know what's breaking? My heart is breaking. Because I had to go through all this nonsense to... I don't even know what a planet's mercy is. Like, what is a planet's mercy? So, you can see how certain things don't level you up and certain things do. Why are you laughing at me? I'm just laughing because of <laughs> you asked me what a planet's mercy would be. I would assume it would be... The planet would kill you quickly. I will never be a memory. I will show mercy to you. I will end this quickly. How would a planet kill you, though? I guess they could kill you with acid rain. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stranger. So, I don't know. Maybe we need some ancient bark. Do you have any idea where ancient bark is, Amber? Um. Ancient bark. Divine... Heartwood. We only have cats, so the bark isn't really going to happen. The bark isn't really going to help on that much. I guess you would need to find some trees for that. 
I think I would need to find trees for that, huh? All right, Luke, I'll go look this up. I'm in a weird mood for some reason today, probably because you had me play Star Wars at 4 o'clock. Well, I mean, they didn't get enough views to have Ace Attorney. What do you want from me? Well, did the best we, we could. We played Star Wars. It, that happened. It did happen. I enjoyed making Anakin sound insane. Yeah, you did do that. So that doesn't give us anything. That's no points. Mm. You want to craft things that give you points, which would be this thing. So we need ancient bark, and we need um. Uh, nope, that's nothing. So the only ones that are going to progress our score is we need Divine Heartwood and one, we need Ancient Bark. That one that's all black looks creepy to wear. I wouldn't wear that. I'd get possessed. Oh, wait, no, we don't need Ancient Bark. Spirit Bound Amulet does not look fun to wear. No, I mean, it's lame. Look at this. It already has, like, horrible stuff in there. So, yeah, look up where you get Ancient Bark. All right. Ancient Bark and we need um, Heartwood. Divine Heartwood. An ancient bark. It's the uh, yeah. Wouldn't Aerith know where all this stuff is since she's like an ancient? You would think so. You would think Aerith would actually get off her butt and do stuff, but no. <laughs> like, what is she actually doing though? She's just like a healer, and that's it. Transmuter. Mm. Transmuter. Okay. You can find out by pressing the touchpad. Huh? Mm, Wood money? from trees once worshipped as gods. That doesn't give us very much information. It's that from Nebel. That could be anywhere. Oh. Cosmo I Cannon, guess it's in Nebel, Nebel, the ocean. Whoops. Oh, okay. wow. So it does tell us so where we have to we go to the Nebel region. All right. Where was, in the Nebel region? Honestly, I just want to call it something else. It just sounds weird. It sounds stupid. Nebel. It just sounds weird. It sounds like sounds like an insult you'd call some kid in the nineties or something. Hey Nebel. <laughs> Nebelheimer. Let's <What>? go, Nebel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like stop picking on me, guys. Nebel, Nebel. <laughs> oh that Nebel again. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Nebel, you're such a wimp, man. <laughs> I got his hat. Stop it! <laughs> I'm just saying it because it's through pain. I actually had people pe play keep away from me in school because it was so short. Are you having flashbacks of events that don't matter? What? They do matter, Luke. It matters to me. What matters? Mm. I just remember big girls playing catch, keep away from me with stuff. Well, it's because you're so short. I know. You can't really, you know, fend off the, the big girls. I could have stepped on their feet, but they would have beaten me up. Um, yeah, that probably would have been their response. That tends to be how that kind of stuff works. Uh, I have no idea where to go. I had my stuff. friend Bonique in in um, kindergarten and first grade stand up for me. She mm. was way bigger than me. She was way bigger than you. And then I had a friend stand up for me later when I was you know, older. He was really tall. Who did you have stand up for you? You. I pick on you quite a bit. No, that. There was people that were mean, and you, you told them to don't bother me anymore. Oh. You said that they better back off. You stood up for me and stood up for my honor like a knight. Okay. I don't really recall that, but... Well, well, you better recall it. It's the only reason I'm here, you weirdo. What do you think you got me? You said yes? No, you... Unable to get any more ginger. Well, that's not good. Wait, I thought we already did this. I thought this is where we're supposed to go. 
Alright, so anyway guys and gals, let's try to get those likes up if we haven't already. Um, 100 likes is your goal for Final Fantasy. Um, do I still have to look up, um, oh. No, I'm, well, I mean, it'd be great if we had an actual location yeah. where let's, those things let's are. Let's try to get the likes up, everyone, thank you. I'm looking to see if I can get Luke a purple shirt for, uh, whatever holiday, Easter. <laughs> whatever holiday is coming up. It's only say. Easter. No, it's that Easter holiday. is good. Easter is Easter. Easter Resurrection Sunday. Mm. Mm -mm. It is. No, that's not why I'm making noise. I'm annoyed because I can't find this awful thing that I need. We're gonna be twins. We're gonna both wear purple. Something that means 99. If you can't pick up something that means 99 of the item. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. But I'm only looking for a certain item, so uh -huh. I don't really care. Ancient Bark Final Fantasy 7. Can we buy the Ancient Bark? <gasps> Doesn't that sound like a, a name you would call somebody in school? Mabel, Mabel. You're an Ancient Bark. Oh, You're yeah. You're an Ancient Bark. You're an Ancient... No, I meant the Nebel thing. You're a Nebel. Stop calling me that! You'll always be a Nebel! <laughs> no, I won't! My name is Dunn! Nate! My name is Nebel! Nate's Nebel! <laughs> Stop it! I don't think I will! I hate you! <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me today! <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me, really. There's plenty wrong with Amber. I don't know what's the matter with me. Well, I mean, for one, usually when people have coffee, they, like, drink it. They don't just, I like... am drinking it! Are you? Because it doesn't look like it's moved at all. You're the only person I know that when you buy coffee, you sit it there next to yourself, and you're like, I got coffee! And it's like four hours go by, it's like... You didn't take one sip of it, but I got the coffee! You're supposed to drink it! That's how you stay awake! I don't like myself when I'm on coffee. I'm in a bad mood. Then why waste the money on I it? I don't know! I don't know! You know the coffee spoils, right? It just what? can't It can't sit there all day. Luke, I had some already. I refilled it with coffee from the fridge. I already drank all my coffee. Why do you think I'm so awake? This is awake? You're not even sitting up straight. Luke, I am sitting up really straight. Are you now? You can't prove anything. You should... You I can, should because really... when, when you're away from... This is what a person sounds like when they're near the microphone. This is what you <laughs> sound like! Luke, way back here! You should, have, uh, you should make me hold me accountable by having... We should be on video every day, and then people can see how unprofessional I am. And then everyone can shame me. It'll help me get more professional. I don't- if your couch actually had a bag to it that wasn't stupid, then this would work out better. You're the one who picked out this- Torn and I picked out this couch, but I hate it now! I wanted it when we were first married, now we're old! Now we have this stupid couch! How would I know we wouldn't have any money now to buy a new one? I should have bought a trillion dollar couch! What a stupid decision! Dumb, stupid corn dog. <laughs> Everyone, when you're 20 years old and you first get married, buy the most expensive couch you can find because chances are you will never be able to afford another one again. And then years later, you're gonna be really old, sitting on the most worst putrid couch in the world, and you're gonna be like, wow. Not only is life getting terrible, I have aches and pains, everything in my life is bad, everything is hard, but I also have to sit on this stupid couch every day! Just buy a couch made out of solid gold. That's my- that's what I would like to offer as my advice. What?! We're looking for- a way to get sacred wood or whatever it is. Um, where is we're in Nebel? Stop making fun of Nebel. <laughs> That's what you get. 
Wait, I don't think we found any life springs in Nebel. We haven't found one life spring in Nebel? That's impossible. I know we found life springs. We did everything we were supposed to in Nebel. Yeah, thank you. I don't think I ever fought the boss in Nebel, though, did I? you? You're unprofessional. You're wearing a DuckTales t-shirt to work. How is that professional? You can buy the materials, but only at a chocobo shop. Well, why did- that makes- right. Sorry about the noise. Sorry! I'm sorry! What do you want me to do? It's so unprofessional. I'm sorry! What- what's- what streams are happening today, so I can't be on them! You smell smoke? What? I don't know- I'm Oh wait, you have the window open. Upstairs room, I have to clean the chemicals off the rug. I keep falling asleep in there. I have a problem with my jaw. It's starting to form some kind of abscess on the side of it. What? From sleep. My jaw is a bump on it because I keep sleeping in that room with chemicals. That's not a thing. Look, feel my jaw. It has a bump on it. I'm... Look. That's not your jaw. Yes, it is. It's it your hurts ear. a lot. Well, it hurts tremendously. Maybe you have a cavity. I'm probably getting an ear infection. <sighs> Luke, what what video? Well, I'm going to look up what videos we're doing today. Cause... All right. He says, Ugh. Vanguard says if we go to a shop, we should be able to buy the necessary pieces we need. <sighs> I mean, thank you, Vanguard. <laughs> it really helped a lot. Really? A lot. It did. I'm just joking. It helped. Thank you, Vanguard. You're breathtaking. Thank you. I hope that this is this works. Because <clears throat> we need to buy stuff. No, I'm fine. I'm fine, Isaiah. I'm, I'm fine. I just need to sleep. But if I go to sleep, then Luke will see me as weak. So I need to stay up all you day. You got any choco grass for me? Thanks. If you find any more, I'll be here. Now how about plumes? I'm not having- Go away! As a viking, I find it- I will- I find it inferior for me to go to sleep before an Irishman. Okay, hang on. I must stay up. Alright, so where- they have Planet's Misery, where in the world is- Where is this stuff I need to buy? Divine Hardwood! There it is! You can buy the materials of the chocobo shops. Let's go! You get tired after having a seizure? I'm sorry to hear that, Tim Moeller. Thank you for the gifted membership, Isaiah! You're breathtaking! Alright, what's the other one we need? <clears throat> we need... Ancient Bark! No, I... Yeah, we need Ancient... Oh, you can just buy You can it. buy them! Luke, no! You're cheating! We have to go out and nope. forage it! No! Nope. This isn't what a real warrior would do! Okay. It'll all pay off in the end. I Shut guess. up! Shut Luke, up! Luke, no way! You're not a real- you're not a real hero! Nope. You just cheated and bought it from the store! I did. I went shopping. Cloud is a Nebel. <laughs> oh no. I bought the parts and I don't care. Let's- wait. Now it's not giving me anything for doing that. Oh, Boom! No. Now we need to buy more Divine Heartwood again. Oh, Leo the Conqueror gifted five memberships. Thank you, Leo. Awesome. Thank you, Isaiah. Thank you, Leo. All you right. guys are breathtaking. We need, we need to buy more Divine Heartwood. Oh, wait. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Thank you. Is this the only shop you can buy the Divine Heartwood? You got any choco grass? I'll me? give you choco grass. That doesn't sound legal, sir. What is Choco Grass? I don't want to know. We are already being pursued by the authorities. <laughs> you are not a very professional person, guy. I don't, I don't want to be shopping here if that's what you're selling. <laughs> because I feel like whatever it is that is, I don't, I don't feel. We're already being Good pursued. Alright, so you saw it here first, guys. We can buy Choco Grass. <laughs> Luke! Don't! 
Amber the Nebel. No! You're the Nebel, Alex! We still don't have enough? Uh, what is wrong with this game? Making us spend all our hard-earned money that I got from grinding. I hate you, game. Luke, you got any choco I grass spent, for me? Now how about I spent all of my moonstone points today on a swan that I put down by the river. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One sec. And it doesn't... You can't even ride in it. Amber's distracting stupid. me. It's stupid, Luke. Amber's distracting me. We need ancient bark. We, we need ancient bark, Amber. You got any choco grass? Stop with your crazy obsession with smoking choco grass! Oh my god! Do your job! <laughs> yeah, what in the world? Stay in school! <laughs> Put down the choco grass! Stay in school! Get a job! He does have a job. His job is busy smoking choco grass. Now he wants plumes to go with it. <laughs> Oh my god. So What's wrong happened. with this guy? Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm sorry to hear that, J Dog. Don't do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't, don't do Choco Grass, don't do kids. Choco Grass, that's right, OH. Why would they even be selling that here? This is an E13 game! <gasps> well, this is a. This is a T-rated game. Luke. This is all garbage for people. Who really wants this stupid thing? You need more what? <clears throat> you need... You need more divine heartwood. This is guy's really getting on my nerves. I hate you. I hate sand. You got any choco grass I'm gonna for give me? you some now choco grass and I'm gonna make you choke on it! You're gonna have to eat a whole pack of choco grass by the time I'm done with you. Teens these days. My god. Teens and their choco grass. Society is doomed. In my day, I'll teens see you would be going and helping old people at the library. Now they're out there selling choco grass! For shame. For shame. This better get us to level 14. Oh the amount of choco grass we had to give this poor man. Mm. Yes! <laughs> yes! You gave the choco grass to somebody? Wow, Luke. No wonder the authorities are after us. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we can finally make the thing. Oh. Okay, here we go. Thank oh you. Thank you guys for the gifted memberships. Thank you for the gifted memberships, guys. You rock. All right, we're out of here. Take that and your stupid choco grass. <clears throat> put that in your... Put that choco grass in your pipe and smoke it. That's right. <laughs> but don't, because it's probably not okay to do that. It's probably not legal to do that, yeah. Just switch it out with a regular grass. I mean, from the ground! I meant... I meant... No! I didn't mean that! Take a sip of your caffeine! I didn't, I didn't mean that! I didn't mean it like that! You're not you when you're I half awake. Put some green tea leaves in there! That's what I meant. Something... Something appropriate. <clears throat> Darn it! That came out so wrong. I have no idea what's wrong with you. But there's definitely something. I mean, seriously, who... Never mind. <clears throat> Are you wearing Converse shoes? I am wearing beach? Converse. No, I don't know what I'm. Wait, am I wearing Converse? Oh, is that because you hate work? sand? Yo, yep. Why don't great. you just wear sandals? No, I don't like bare feet. Okay. Bare feet on women is fine, but I don't like guy bare feet. Why? Because it's gross. I think your feet look awesome. They're like so much. Your feet are like. <clears throat> My feet are so small. Yep. Small and dainty. Alright, can we do this? Because I don't I don't want to do this anymore. Alright, here we go. Yes. I hate you! I hate sand! I hate all of you! Oh, hang on. That's... Sorry. Never mind, we don't have to have a grinding stream tonight. Life is good. 
Gotta transmute stuff. Yes! Legendary bait made! Let's go! Fine. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Let's do this. Let's do this stupid Paradise Lost thing. Okay? See, I don't have patience for the whole <clears throat> transmutation thing. I do not like mandals either, is what I say. Is that like man sandals, I say? I guess they're like man sandals, yes. Alright, here we go. Well, five more gifted memberships from Isaiah. Thank wow. you, Isaiah. Cutscene. Ah! Mm -hmm. Some legend. This bait's a bust. <laughs> Spoke too soon. The legendary bait worked. Amber, shut or uh, make the TV quieter. Where's where's the, the not touch? <laughs> What? Where is the thing that puts down the volume of the television? He's eating me! I got this. Let's go. <sighs> five. Five is acceptable. Thank you. Cloud! Let Cloud go! Don't go eating Tifa's man! Man eater! Ow. Oh wow, these things are actually pretty strong. I'm following yeah, you again. Thank you. Let me go. Put Tifa down! I'm your one hit to go. Let's do this. Fight's not over yet. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> what? I'm so stupid. Deal with that. Get him! Doesn't matter if we've got to heal. We're kicking butt. We're taking names. One's down. Next one. Darn it, Tifa. I'm gonna resurrect Tifa. Uh, where's Tifa? No more playing. Take him down. Don't get him. Take that now. Come on. What is that little, uh... Somebody who's being mean to you? Oh, it's fine. It's normal. You somehow rub people in the wrong way. I don't know how you do it. I always try to be careful and Amber's just like... Oh! Hang in there. Because I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. You can't please everyone, so you might as well please yourself. That sounds like something. It's a song. Oh. You can't please, uh... Better go tell Kyrie. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing? I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. Take the stuff back to the Merc. Hooray! We did it. We fought those monsters and we won. I'm so happy. That quest was not worth it, by the way. It wasn't worth it. Like, not at all was it worth it. Um, just, just so everyone knows, it wasn't worth it. <coughs> I stand by the fact that it was not worth it! Okay, here we go. This is all so we can unlock some Tifa side quests, by the way. Hmm. Whatever. Paradise Lost is done! Oh, you're enjoying Turnabout so far? Awesome, Brandon. 
Wait, I'm allowed to be in a goofy mood once in a while, especially when we have to verse each other as Yoda and Darth Vader. That was fun. You can't, I can't help but being in a fun mood when I get to play as my favorite Star Wars characters. <clears throat> I like Star Wars. That's like my favorite thing. You're like, Most people don't know, but I used to be a super Star Wars fan. Used to be, and then Disney Star Wars happened. Yeah, but I can still remember what it was like to be a fan. Remember what it was like to be a fan. I will old, never be a memory. Old memories come back, and uh, the old ways are the best. All right, Kyrie, whatever your name is, jerk. If she's bailed, I'm gonna be very upset because I really want to run her through. Oh my gosh! Now people are seeing like. Um. Oh my gosh! Oh, she's here. <coughs> Oh, Why is. is she dancing? But she's happy. She made us do all that work. That's why she's dancing. Welcome back, fellow Merc. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Ah, perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie, but this is no laughing matter. What? Wait, hang on a sec, please. Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to take me out? What did I do wrong? Oh god, I don't know. Wait a minute. Is this about my looks? I'm so gorgeous that you can't take your eyes off me, distracting you from your mercenary duties, right? That's the best you can come up with? No, wait! Let me guess. Are you mad that I called myself a mercenary? Or was it that I pressured you into doing all the dirty work? Or that I wasn't giving you a big enough cut? <sighs> Do you wanna die? Forgive my granddaughter her questionable sense of humor. Uh, Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah. You've told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try, every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah. Oh. Kyrie, you know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Uh, <sighs> I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. <laughs> I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? Ah, oh, forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners, equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then, shall we head home? The people need us. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. 
Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. <laughs> Thank you for stepping in back there. Eh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, what say we look for one last job before we leave? Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mare. Just a little? <laughs> so, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the Merc. Just like you wanted. Technically, we did take care of the Merc because she's gone now. So, you have to complete all of Kyrie's side missions in order to do this one where basically she gives up being a Merc for hire because Cloud literally was going to kill her. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I think that might have been the right answer because Kyrie is a pain in the derriere. Uh, her quest, Paradise Lost, is one of the most annoying quests in the game so far. Like, at least with Gilgamesh, we know what we're supposed to do with Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh, we're supposed to find the phenomenon things. The mayor was really gonna kill her then? He paid Cloud to kill her, yeah. See, this would have been a more appropriate Tifa the bathing suit. Like, something like this, where she has, like, a jacket open and she's, like, wearing, like, sports stuff. Like, I mean, her bathing suit was cute and stuff, but, I mean, she's a very sporty girl. You know? Like, she could have, like, a, a more, like, a sports or workout-oriented outfit that they could have added on top of that. Like, the characters don't have enough costumes. Like, really. They only have, like, two beach costumes, they've got the soldier uniform, and then they have their regular. Um, and, uh, that's it. It would have been cool for them to have more looks. Tifa's always been my favorite Final Fantasy VII character. Gotta talk to the mayor again. Here we go. Enjoy it, guys. Oh, there you are, friends. I heard you ran that little swindler out of town. I would have preferred a more final farewell, but she's gone and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. Sir, we've got trouble. See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. Huh? We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums, Radiant saviors of the sun kissed. No way! <laughs> Cute go, girls! Ha! Ah, they ripped off the bad Shinra Mayor. That's funny. Trouble in paradise done. Now we can go do the Tifa side quest. Wait. Who. Hmm? Who paid you to kill Kiri? The, the, the mayor. The nerdy guy in the library? Nervous. That wasn't the library. The mayor is the best. The, no, no, this is a different mayor. You're thinking the mayor of Midgar. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, well, why would he do that? No. Oh, I'm sorry I'm out of here. It's okay. Oh. He didn't do anything wrong. As long as you think I'm cute, then it's okay. Why wouldn't I think you're cute? I don't know. Okay. Because you're super confident all the time, so I assume you... Wait, where the heck am I? Uh... Whoops. We need to go back to the coral region. Alright, so we are here. We need to go... Is this the... Where's the gold saucer at? Also, I'm in a good mood because I had Vikings need meat to eat and I had a chicken sandwich today. I've been on vegetables for about a month and a half. Oh, wow. Vikings can't live on vegetables. Hmm. I found out that, uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. But, uh, never mind. Let's 
It's gonna be hard doing a new game plus though because look at all the characters are blue. Oops. Well, you, if they're all blue and all their character, unless their character levels restart. No, I'm I'm saying her bathing suit is fine. Like, if she had an additional outfit, like a workout outfit, or like, you know, a sporty outfit. I think uh, Tifa's two side outfits they have are fine. I'm saying it would be nice if she had a third additional one. Like a sport, sporty look. Because she's, she's athletic and she's into, you know, being fit and stuff like that. So. Like the Erica's. That'd be nice. But I want to see the dollars on it. Take the lead. Okay, I think, I think Tifa... Well, I'm just reading into this because I like Tifa and... Um, I Tifa wears black and white a lot. I think she could look cute in a dress that's like longer and like a sundress, but it would be like white with like imprinted like lilies on it I think that would look cute mm -hmm. man I wish I could draw that and then that would look cute but I'm just imagining in my mind I think that would look cute alright let's see for Yuffie I think she could have like a little green dress that would be kind of cute alright additional outfit for Barrett I'm thinking I would like to see Barrett in a Hawaiian shirt I think he would look cool well, I mean, it's not really called New Game Plus, it's called Chapter Select. You can go through and once you beat the game, you can reselect chapters that you've already... Like, you can start over the game with all of your, like, powers and abilities. I don't know if your relationship levels carry over. I hope not, because then everyone will be competing for Cloud's Affection, which would be weird. Um, I think the relationship levels start over again, but your levels will not start over. Like, your, your levels and your materia and your money that you acquired and your weapons will all carry over just like in Remake. But it's not called New Game Plus, it's called Chapter Select. Oh, you know what would have been cool? Is if you could wear the outfits that we had in the you medi can. medieval play. Oh no, not medieval. Oh, oh no. That would have been cool. Yeah, the medieval play costumes would be like, cool, but Chico's no. Like, Chico's long dress in that is exactly what I would like to see her in. And that and dress is like one of the girls wears it. So all the girls would have the same dress. But, um, you can in, um, I call it New Game Plus, but it's not New Game Plus. In Chapter Select, once once the game is over, you can go through and you can actually use whatever costumes you want. Like, the if you want to play the whole time as, like, Soldier, Aerith, and Tifa, you can. If you want to play the whole time as Cloud Beach Buddy, you can. I would like to see for an additional costume either the one that Cloud wore in the in the play or I think Cloud would look funny as a cosplay of Link or he could wear a gamer tee that would be funny. Mm. I want I don't know why but I want to see like Cloud with a gamer t-shirt. You want to like, see Cloud with a gamer tee? Either tea? jeans or some shorts and like a, like headphones around his neck. That would be cute. I think he would look funny like that. Okay. What additional costumes would you want on the character's look? Um, I would actually think their Loveless look would be kind of cool. What's their Loveless look? Loveless is the play that you're thinking of. Yeah, that's what I would like to see, because they all looked cool. Aerith looked very beautiful, and also... <laughs> Barret looked awesome. Barret did look cool. Like a common Rider villain, or whatever you call Sentai Ranger villain, whatever. Yeah, he looked really cool there. Make way for the amazing Yeti. Yeah. Deal with that. Let me hear Come on. Oh, these cactus guys are super annoying. It's so weird that Kiri doesn't seem to understand what she's doing. She's a teenager. Like she's lying. She's getting herself in trouble. She's impersonating other people. She's literally putting people in danger. And she doesn't see any of that. She's like, that's what I'm wearing. It's like, no, Kyrie, not what you're wearing. She has a crush on Cloud. But Cloud's spoken for by Tifa. I like that's why I wish that. Um, there would be some changes that happen based on, you know, the whole gold saucer thing, but um, it would have been cool if, if uh, Tifa was there, like, cracking her knuckles looking at Kyrie, like, excuse me? 
Like, but like I said, Tifa doesn't. Yeah, they outside, sure outside of like the um, outside of the flirting that they'll do throughout the rest of the game, like nothing connects to the gold saucer date. Like, there's no continue. You'll have to wait until the third game. And the third game, I don't think they're really going to get into a lot of that, except for like probably near the end of the game where Cloud can choose to spend the night with somebody. Like, because the third game is going to have to deal with Cloud, since they haven't really done it in this game. A very big part of the story was Cloud going crazy in the original Final Fantasy VII. Because he didn't know if he was a clone, he didn't know if he was Sephiroth, he didn't know if he was Zack. Like, that has to play a huge role in the third game. So, you know, um, it would be curious to see what they do with, you know, whatever relationship Cloud chose. I'm pretty sure the Tifa relationship is canon. Because Zack is still alive, I and we know that Aerith loves Zack. So... Yeah. I wonder what outfit I would have for Aerith for an additional outfit, but I think I would have her singing uniform. Mm. Make her Starlight Barbie, where she sings into a microphone. Oh, her gown thing that she yeah. had when she was singing? Yeah. Scenic spot found where? Well, wouldn't be kind of cool to see Aerith uh, in a outfit, switch it up, have Tifa in a dress, and have Aerith in a sporty outfit. That would be kind of cute. Mm. Like, have Aerith in, like, a sports outfit. Cheerleader outfit for Aerith! <laughs> or, like, a soccer uniform, or, I don't know, I like to play soccer, so that's what I would put on. Where that's is... what I would put Tifa in. i put her in a soccer outfit. I think she would keep with like little uh, show shin pads and soccer stuff. They said this is a camera area, but I don't see the camera place that they want me to take. Oh, there it is. Never mind. This is it. It might be kind of cute to see Aerith in like a t-shirt and shorts or something. It might be kind of cute. But I guess Aerith is one of those girls that really likes wearing flowy dresses. Mm -hmm. That's completely fine. It probably wouldn't go with her personality to wear sporty stuff. Am Aerith doesn't seem to be a very sporty person to me, says Miss Deanna. Yeah, that's probably true. Ronins need meat too. Definitely, Alex. Um, I don't... Yeah, I'm not... Alien boy, I don't... We've already explained we've met lots of people in the past... Uh, the most famous person that I know that I run into who does the best reviews on the internet um, has moral integrity, which is very hard to find, actually writes well-done reviews, hasn't backstabbed their friends on YouTube, and still maintains the integrity and still is married to his wife after all these years, and is the best game reviewer on the entire internet, is the only famous person that I care about, and that's my husband. Huh? So, everybody else I do not actually care about. I could actually care less. Did somebody else do... Oh, it doesn't really matter to me. Did another YouTuber fall from grace again? Because there's been a lot of that going on lately. Who hasn't? It's been, uh, it's been a pretty di disappointing last two years with all these YouTubers going crazy. And they're not even super famous either. Like... I, I really feel like fame gets to a lot of these they're people's not, heads. They're not famous. They're a bunch of, uh, I don't, they're a bunch of people that get a bunch of other people to do stuff behind the scenes for them for free. Then they take their credit for what other people do, and then they sit on their butts, um, basically just hanging out from home and pretending that they're putting all these reviews together when in reality it's a team of people, and then they just do the voiceover, and then they pretend they're better than other people. <laughs> So um, it's not really... There are no famous YouTubers yeah. except for my husband. Alien alien Boy, I worked <laughs> with a lot of YouTubers, but they all stabbed me in the back, man. Um, I, I actually... You have to remember that most of those guys were, like, way younger than me. I helped them get their start. Um, you know, I talked with... There was, like, three YouTubers that I actually got them partnered with Maker Studios. We've already talked about it so many times. We've met all of the, quote, famous people that you guys think are, quote, famous. We've already met all of them face to face. Yeah. We've met tons of people, and you know what's fr you know what is really amazing is they've met us. Cause you know what, my husband works his tail off every day, which is more than I could say for a lot of these yahoos. So I think that they were lucky to meet my husband. That's who they were lucky to meet. I didn't actually care about them. I do care about my husband because he is amazing. Um, 
A uh, Vanguard. Is this the Tifa quest? Sand and circuses? Is this it? Is this the thing that I've been trying to do, like, for two days now? <clears throat> yes? Alright! Let's do it. Sand and circuses. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh. Sand and circus. 51 minutes. Aha! Sand and circuses. Yeah, I, I'm a. I mean, uh. People that work hard that I know today, I'll tell you, people that I think work really hard, uh, Pack Attack, mm. Abdallah Smash, uh, Rob, um, and his reviews, and, uh, I, I, Family Gamer TV is still going strong. Are we, they? We, we, we FGTV is yeah, still around? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually found him online and followed him. They're still doing stuff. Um, yeah, those the people that I like are the Skylander crew. That's what I I'm i my favorite my favorite group of people I met are the Skylander crew and people that do like. Oh, I know uh, what I wanted so, to tell yeah. you. Um, Marvel is making a Overwatch game. Yeah, and somebody was mentioning. Oh, you you heard about that? Oh, no, I, I didn't hear about it. Just okay. somebody said Marvel is making an Overwatch. Game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're making an Overwatch game, and they have a closed beta in May. I don't know if we'll be able to get into the closed beta, and if it's a closed beta, I don't think that we can actually show footage. Usually, open betas they allow to record footage, so I don't really see a point getting into a closed beta. But um, yeah, they're doing the Overwatch thing now because I mean, you know, Overwatch isn't really working out well for EA at the moment or Blizzard. So you know, Marvel's going to try to cash in on that. Uh, all right, so we need to go down here. But I think it looks interesting. I saw the trailer for it. It was like, okay. When it comes out, I'm sure we'll do a little bit with it. But I still can't find anything on the Ninja Turtles game, like at all. But what I'm upset about is I was promised to appear on a podcast for two months and I still keep getting like, you know, told, hey, next month or next month or next month. So it's like, you know, it's kind of like, yeah. and it, it's hard when you know these people and like they, they offer it to you, but then you still don't get in. It's like, okay, I, I've, I've readjusted my schedule twice now. And, uh, you know, I understand that I don't really talk about a lot of those issues. I guess it makes sense, but because I was told it was a gaming podcast, but it seems like all they've been talking about right now is stuff I really don't want to talk about because yeah. I've kind of had it up to here with SJWs and woke stuff. <laughs> yeah, the people like to talk <clears throat> about it and, like, um, get me. I just... I'm not a reactionary channel, though, yeah. you know? It's like, I just don't, like, for me, like, it's like... It's... I would rather focus on reviewing games or covering games, and if the topic comes up and someone asks me while I'm on a stream, I'll answer it quickly and get off the topic, but I really don't want to do a whole hour podcast on to play with some touchy monsters? subject, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's like, the more you talk about it, the more your opinion gets out there, and you might have to keep talking. Like, someone will be like, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, like, these people are really bad, and you're sitting here on the podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the famed Beast Battleground. He's at the top of the ladder? Challengers are always welcome. I didn't see anybody at the top of the ladder. Fires from all over. Nothing suits the soul. I can't wait to see who gets ripped to shreds today. He's at the top? Alright, I'll take your guys' word for it. Alright, uh, where is he? There he is! Alright, so we're gonna save. Okay. Hey, remember me? You're that guy from Corneo's. Leslie. What are you doing out here? You look like you've been through hell. Got wind my girl might be out this way. Had to follow up. See if there was truth to it. In case I didn't tell you, her name's Merle. 
After you guys left Wall Market, I started asking around. Hoped one of her friends might know something. Shouldn't have bothered. Even if they did have info, they're not dumb. They wouldn't dare blab to a former Corneo crony. But I was able to find out she wasn't in Midgar anymore. And ever since then, I've been moving from town to town, looking for leads. Well, you saw. After the plate fell, the trio opened the place to refugees. The town tripled in size. Man, if you thought it was lively before. Unfortunately, when Corneo pulled up stakes, he took all that Shinra money with him. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Walmart's days are numbered. Madame M's trying to work her magic, but I don't know. Sector 7's still a mess. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Expressway collapsed right after the plate. Then out of the blue, company decides it needs a new president. Seems pretty clear Shinra doesn't give a shit about Sector 7. Undercity especially. But that shouldn't come as a surprise. The people have stepped up though. Clearing the rubble, helping the injured, locating the missing. So the thing is, Gus is running a special competition, and a woman is the prize. Word around the Dust Bowl is she fled here from Midgar. It's just a hunch, but I think she might be who I'm looking for. She's a prize? That's sick. Gus is a real piece of shit, to put it mildly. He do that? <laughs> Monsters did. Gus is calling it a party, but it's an excuse to see blood. Lots of it. He pits people against fiends, and his money's on the ladder. I lost. So this is where you guys come in. Join the party, win, and free that woman. Hmm. Still a merc, aren't you? No reason not to. True. Please. We'll do it. <laughs> so you know, need a team of five to sign up. In the ring, though, it's one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> and humans only, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm counting on you, and so's the woman. If anyone can put Gus in his place, it's Walmart, it's reigning champs. I like that they actually brought Leslie back, and he's continuing to search for his fiance. Even though it's a side quest, at least we actually get to see more of his story, so that's good. This is the first real lead I've had since I left Midgar. Just hope it isn't a dead end. Guess we'll find out. All right. Um. So down we go. You know what I like? Hmm. That you're the most handsome. Thank you, sweet pea. Alright, it's quest time. Oh, wait, how's our health? Uh, Aerith, can you heal the team, please? Actually, you know what, Barrett? You heal the team. If you could make an alternate outfit for Barrett and Cloud, what would their outfits be? Um, for Barrett? Hmm. And also red. We could have an outfit for Red. I think he should have one of those stupid sweaters. Red would be hard. I think we should knit him a dog sweater. I don't know. I mean, I would... <laughs> I I think it would be funny to see Barrett in, like, a Hawaiian shirt. With, like, sandals and, like, um... Like a, a, a purple or bright yellow Hawaiian shirt with, like, khaki shorts and sandals and sunglasses and, like, a straw hat. I think that'd be funny. And, uh for like a more relaxed look in town like a leather jacket with like blue jeans and yeah. like um like cyclops uh, cy uh cyclops like really big sunglasses yeah not not as be... small sunglasses yeah like you here to join the party yeah like from x-men yes we're here to join the party this is a tifa side what 
What is that saying? Ninja versus the winged ones? Why can't I do this? Oh, I can only... Gus's party can only be played with... Okay, so I have to do this with just Yuffie. Um, Gus's party, the ninja versus the winged ones. So I think you have to do all of these. Vacation Barrett. Yes! Exactly. Um, what is that called? Ninja versus Wing. Alright, here we go. First quest. Let's do it. Yuffie's up. Woo! Y'all ready for the party of your lives? Today's challengers are the champion of chocobos, the racing ace himself, Cloud the Knife, and Crew! Bring it on, jerks! Versus my personal pick of the fiercest, most ferocious fiends you have ever seen! This is it, folks. You're about to witness a brutal bloodbath of untold proportions. Let the shit hit the fan! Woo! All right, winged... W <laughs> Ninja versus winged ones. Oh gosh, alright, ninja's in trouble. Wait, does she have chakra? Chakra? Valron. Uh -oh. We don't have chakra. Luke certainly has a way with words. As... I do? What up, Chad? Yep, he swept me off my feet. I did? I'm actually glad you asked me a lot of questions on my art first statement. Mm. Because that means you set the bar really high, and that means only only the mightiest of girls could have won. I had to be I had to be at level over one thousand to get Luke. Wait, what is he doing? It's over nine thousand. I guess I'll have to attack the one that's not in the defensive position. I'm not very good with you, Fee. Oh, we have a limit. There we go. Well, thanks for the thoughts on prayers, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. Well, you had to go and wake the beast. Go, Yuffie! Yes! Ninja versus winged ones. Complete. There we go. None can escape the wrath of the ninja! And there's her pose from the original Final Fantasy VII. Da -da 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 -da. Cute. Nostalgia overload. Nostalgia overload, indeed. All I right. bet somebody watching this from the year whatever the original Final Fantasy came out, it would blow their mind. Oh my gosh, the flower seller versus what? Fireballs? Flower seller versus fireballs. Okay. Mm, they make Aerith very sweet and innocent, but she also kills people. So that's interesting. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know Alien Boy. I don't. I don't really give my opinion on other YouTubers. I've never had a bad experience with that person. I like them a lot. I mean, every time we've... The difference is... I like the, that person a lot. They were really nice to us. When we've hung out... When we've actually tried to say hello to other maker people, like at um, events, they ghost us. The Skylanders people and the FGC, FGT TV people... He seemed really um, nice. They're never too busy to say hello to well, us and they that, know us. That guy was super nice to us. Whereas and super, uh, every partner... Su super down to earth. Every partner that we've ever... Uh, been a part of or worked with um, from Maker Studios has always ghosted us. Always. They either they see us walking toward them and they go the opposite way or like there was even, I'm not going to say who it was but there was a Maker partner who pushed us out of an interview 
because they had more subscribers than we did. And we actually were talking to, um, we were talking to, I, I think it was Inafune There's, at the time. There are a lot of mean YouTubers that pretend to be nice, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you, I mean, maybe whatever, you guys can see one thing. I mean, YouTubers gonna act a certain way on a camera to get views doesn't mean that they're a mean person in real life. But some people can act nice on camera but be mean in real life. I don't care how somebody acts on camera. If they're gonna act crazy on camera, like be super energetic and stuff on camera, but if they're a nice person in real life, that's all I care about. Mm -hmm. But if they're if they act nice on camera but in real life you meet them and they're a complete jerk, that's what I don't like. And that person has always been nice to us. Um, really down to earth, really kind, literally took time to talk to us like a human being, which is more than I can say for 90% of people that I've met on in this industry. Is um is he the gentleman who had his camera break during the Skylander event and he was like mm -hmm. not blaming anybody for it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he left a very good impression. Like, um, that was a very expensive camera that broke too. He wasn't blaming other creators and wasn't yelling at the developers. I felt bad for him because, you know, he had footage and stuff, but he was like, it's only money. And I was like, mm -hmm. That's, that's a good attitude to have. Uh, I'm really not going to get into it, though. You guys realize that you asking me personal questions about other people can be used against me hey. later. Hey. Someone can click that and then try to hurt me later. So I'm not going to actually give Let my opinion on anything. I don't have any problem with that person whatsoever. And I'm not going to... And you're not going to get anything else out of me. If you want to ask me personal questions, maybe there's a way I can have a tier on Patreon where I can talk about personal things, but I can't talk about it on the stream like this at all. Sorry. Uh-oh. I don't think Aerith is going to win this one. Does she have ice magic? She still has healing wind. That's Wait. not really going to help us. Oh no. Maybe I, healing wind would help. I have no idea, Alien Boy. I don't usually answer a lot of personal... I don't have time to answer you a lot already, of questions you already said like that. that. You already said that. And I don't know anything strong, about anything going on. on with their channel or how it's changed. I'm not any familiar. Yeah. All I can tell you is, you know, that I can just tell you our experience, which I already said. Oh god, I don't think Aerith is going to win this. Would air work against them? Nope! She needed to have ice magic. I did something terribly wrong. This is a problem. This is a huge problem. I don't think Aerith is going to win this. Somehow she's able to keep using her healing wind. That's good, but... Uh, this is just kind of prolonging the fight. Oh my gosh, at this point. Isn't there a way for me to use ward or something? Ah, gosh. Well, I mean, I'm whittling them down, but at the same time, I'm in big trouble here. Those are freaking heat seekers, man. Lay. Sorry about that. Be a good boy. I'm gonna try to hit them with ATB Ward, Rolling Thunder, Soul Drain. What about Soul Drain? Unleash a MP absorb. Oh, I don't care about absorbing MP. Serious Storm, maybe. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Oh, wait, I thought Serious Storm actually hits them. Well, that's not good. Sorry, Aerith. I gave you a bad loadout. I didn't mean to. All I was trying to do was get Cloud to date Tifa. I, I, I wasn't trying to nerf you or wound you this badly. Mistakes were made. Wait, did they heal? No, they didn't heal, but they are coming after me and it's freaking annoying. Alright, there we go. Long range is key. Yes, I know, I did this horribly wrong. I should be using ice magic. I don't have any ice magic, so I'm in big trouble. No. Nah. Run, Aerith! What does warding do? <laughs> you can use healing wind. Go. Yeah, I know. That's why you have healing wind, girl. Wait, does healing wind actually hurt them? No, it doesn't. Wait, you need to go after... How do I select the other areas? Did I stagger or they staggered? They staggered! This one's for 
keep hoping for the best. One more shot. Ow! Let the winds caress you. Oh yeah, we're gonna be here a while, Misty. But we're gonna get it. Never give up. Never surrender. Ow. When things look darkest, just keep going. Even if Aerith gets knocked around like a pinata. No! Do you look... Ow! Oh, she doesn't look okay, Earth. You don't look okay. Mm. <laughs> That's what I'm telling them to stop it. Should we do a summon? Yes! I... Sorry, I know it's sudden. What the? Stay strong and carry on. Hey, Zelda, how's it going? All right, so we brought Shiva in, and Shiva hopefully is going to deal with these flame heads. Or not. I mean, Shiva is kind of weak, but maybe this will work. But poor Aerith. I'm so sorry, Aerith. Aerith is having a bad day. I really should swap the thumbnails for uh, episode 29 and 30 because Aerith is getting knocked around so much. Oh no! I I don't have the ability to use my limit anymore. Ah! Oh, there it is! I lucked out so much. Bless them with your love and grace. This might be it. You're fine, Aerith. Shiva, do your thing! Go for it! Someone looks kinda shaky. Oh my god. Yeah, alien boy, please respect Amber and don't ask her anymore. You're gonna get her mad. She already explains so stuff as best she can. And she doesn't want to talk about it. She doesn't feel comfortable with it. Thank you. See you around. We managed to just pull through by the skin of our teeth. Okay, uh, what's next? Gus's party, Gunner versus Wind Sages. Oh, Barrett should do this just fine. Barrett's got this. Okay, uh, 120, 10. This is Gunner versus Wind Sages. Wind Sages. Alright, Barrett, let's do this. The party continues. Barrett, I have been leveling up, so we should be fine. Oh yeah, they're just giant chickens. We got this. Kiss my Look at that. You good? I don't... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, charging uppercut. Suck on this. Oops. Aaron got treated, or er, Aerith got treated like s'mores is bad. Yeah, but Aerith still managed to win because luckily we gave her the Shiva summon without me realizing it. That was a huge. <laughs> that was very good. Uh, but Barrett's gonna take these birds down, so I mean, I'm not worried about it. Especially if I can get that nice charging uppercut to work. I don't need that game. Which game? Thank you for the super chat for me, Jesus. Um, yeah, we appreciate you being a long-time viewer, Alien Boy, just so you know, I just can't talk about personal things. Especially on stream, especially on stream. Thank you for the super chat, Prometheus. Luke, I'm having a debacle. Is it worth to play RDR2 again? RDR2? I'm, I think, like, like a second Red, playthrough. Red Dead Redemption? 
Thank you for the surprise. Is that is that what that I I don't really remember the um I, I'm assuming that's Red Dead Redemption. I don't, I don't know if that's the correct abbreviation. I think it might be, but I, I don't think we own Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption. No. I, I'm not really big into Western games. The only quote-unquote Western game I own is, would be Red Steel 2. Yeah, said it is Red Dead Redemption. Oh wow! Too, I, I still remember my uh my gaming. Uh oh. Link, don't. Alpha says I would definitely play it through again. It's massive, and you can always encounter something new. Says Alpha. Well, of course. I mean, it's a massive um game that they continue to add stuff to it, and I mean they pack so much into that. Just like Skyrim always has like crazy stuff you can do, and uh, what was the other? Dragon's Dogma had tons of stuff happen. Alien Boy says it's my favorite video game of all time. Awesome, oh, Alien wow. Boy. All right, there you go. Thank you for the super chat, Prometheus. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. All right, guys. Next one, the uh, Pug List versus the Undertaker. Link, be a good boy. Be a good boy. Don't hurt Zelda. Don't hurt Zelda and don't hurt my wife. Okay, Linky, if you're gonna hang out here, what, you wanna come over here? Come here. Come here, buddy. You have this whole open space right over here. Look at this. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Good boy, Linky. Proud of you. There you go. See, you have open space over here. Zelda's right there next to Amber, and you're over here by me. Good boy. Oh, so this is Tifa? Oops. Okay, got it. Good cats. You think good, good, good little kitties. Pug list versus Undertaker? Okay. Alright, let's go. Tifa's got this. <clears throat> So the max level in Final Fantasy Remake was 50. I don't know what the max level in uh, Rebirth is. I think it's 75, maybe? So small, so small. Zelda's very tiny. Luke would probably play more m rated games, but he has to focus so much on this channel. Correct. So he actually doesn't have time to play those games because he's working hard. Taking care of cat one, cat two, and, and wife. Just like, I don't even know how I'm going to cover the Suicide Squad thing because, like, it comes out tomorrow. I think it comes out tomorrow. Does it come out? Yeah, it comes out tomorrow. I mean, like, think of all their life. Never mind, I'm not even going to Yeah, don't. You, you, you said your piece, you don't bring it up again. No. I need to do games, not people. My job for the Andy, game. let it go. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if Luke's even played that Prometheus. No, I don't. I we don't own it. We don't. We don't have a lot of time. Luke doesn't mind playing games like that, but he doesn't have no. a lot of time. I I will never chastise anybody for playing a game that I don't you know particularly own. I believe that. Gamers should be able to play the games they want. I'm against censorship. I don't believe that certain companies should go out of their way to, you know, do things that gamers don't like. I think that every genre of gaming should exist, whether I play it or not. Because, you know, gaming is all about variety and choices. Well, um, something so, for everyone. You know? But not my best. I'm not a big fan of Western games or Western movies. I, you know... The only Western thing that I've ever liked is Shanghai Noon, which is a Jackie Chan movie. So, I'm just not into Westerns. Um, I don't... And the only Western game that we have is Red Steel 2, which was a weird, weird game that Ubisoft sent us. So that's the only reason I have that. Whereas sure. the first Red Steel game was uh, against Yakuza. Now it's Cloud. Let's go. Cloud, the Merc versus Bloodstained Jester. 
I knew Tifa would make quick work of the... Um, because Tifa had lightning. Lightning is, of course, the weakness of mech, mm. so... Prometheus said I put so much time on the game. Oh, I bet. <sighs> I don't doubt. Merc versus Bloodstain. Oh, Miss mm. Deanna says, good job. Thank you, Deanna. Appreciate that. Mm. I don't even know why they called that thing the Undertaker. It wasn't really the Undertaker. You have 300 hours on Red Dead Redemption 2 LZS. Awesome. That's amazing. I don't know if I have 200. Well, I might have 200 hours on uh, Zelda. Mm. Maybe. Oh! Also, you guys... Who could have expected an upset like this? Cloud the Knife's team has made it to the finals. But playtime's over. This here's the real moment of truth. Are you ready? I want to hear some noise, people. Give it up for everyone's nightmare, the Murder Machine Supreme. No challengers have ever managed to beat this fearsome fiend. Does our Merc and his crew have what it takes to be the first? Will they be able to claim our darling little grand prize? You're about to find out, folks. This is the moment we've been waiting for. A desert lava! Cloud has to fight this thing? Okay. Final round. Merc versus... Joker. You have 88 hours in this game, Jeffrey, oh wow. Uh, I, I don't know why people could see that I, um, I don't even know follow you on Twitter. I don't care, honey, I was just making a joke of it. It's not a big deal. I don't even know who told you that I unfollowed you, though. Chad. Oh, I didn't, oh. Uh, Chad was waiting for you to him, unfollow him, too. Oh. No, I... Say goodbye. I didn't, don't worry about I didn't mean to unfollow you. Honey. It's your Twitter, you do no, what you want. I unfollowed people that were putting... I didn't even unfollow people that were mildly inappropriate. I followed people... I unfollowed people that were extremely inappropriate on Twitter. They had, it, they had inappropriate I'm talking content. about, like, their content that they yeah. were retweeting was illegal. And they were doing it every day. And I realized those kind of people I didn't want to be around. Gross. And I assumed they were probably some of the people that were attacking me, so why would I let them see my daughter? Chakra. Um, Chakra again? Uh oh. What does that do? Nothing good. Whoa, wait a sec. Alright, let's go with Prime Mode. You ready? Ouch. I missed! Wait, have I even hurt this guy yet? I don't think I Whoa! Dagger, there we go. Alright, Joker's kind of a pain here. Yeah, I can't do anything. Uh, it looks like it, yeah. What if I do... Fine. You had your chance. There he goes again. No holding So I have to make him stagger in order to hurt him. Ah! Please stop hurting me. Mm. What is that? You made a shield for yourself? You punker. Chakra. Gotta be careful. I don't have to wait to summon uh, no. Chad says some people unfollow me because I post too many mods from the that's stupid. Your Monster Hunter quotes are amazing, Chad. I feel embarrassed because I feel like retweeting every single thing you're 
you post, but then I'm like, well, that would be weird. Chad's gonna think I'm weird, so I don't. You're as good as dead. Break him! Nuts! This is bad. This is bad. I might actually lose this. Oh, I staggered him. You're mine. I could use a little help from Bahamut. Have fun. There's no rule against summoning summons. I don't think. Uh oh. What if I go with blade burst? No, I should use chakra. Still in it. It's on now. I'm just gonna keep on the offensive and hope for the best. Ouch. Hamid, you wanna hurt him, please? Wow, you Oh no. You're out of luck. You missed! You idiot! You're toast! Cloud, you idiot! Come on, come on, come on. ATB gauge, go up, please! You're done. Not yet, you psycho. Wow. Oh, thank God. We almost lost. <laughs> I think we won now, though. Yeah, we won. Good job. Bye, bye. Let's go. people a show gotta say never thought my little baby would get so thoroughly crushed damn it do you have any idea how much kill i spent on that thing you inconsiderate son of a bitch uh, it's done it's all good gotta look to the future our future what do you say we'd make one hell of a team could clean up at the fights and the races. Come on, you know you wanna. No. <laughs> Don't do me like that. I'll throw in some perks on top. That should sweeten the deal, right? Where's the girl? Oh, so you really were after our little prize. You, sir, are a dirty dog. <laughs> well, you're welcome to her. You earned it. Just as a little show of good faith. Go on, don't be shy. And then maybe think over that deal. Pretty please. Hey. Huh? Hello. Where did you come from, beautiful? You looking to get in good with the Gus man? Don't ever pull this crap again. You offer any more people as prizes, they'll have to scrape you off my shoe. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Tifa's like, stop abducting girls, jerk. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Gross. So, how did the reunion go? Different girl. What? Was just a random tourist from Midgar. Fell for a scam at the saucer and ended up down here. I sent her back up, made sure she's safe. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I'll find her eventually. I'm 
sure of it. Anyway, what's next for you and the others? We're looking for something too. Need to find it ASAP. <laughs> Funny. Always the same story with us. Good luck to you. Thanks. And you. <laughs> well, guys and gals, it only leaves one Tifa quest left. I have no idea what the next Tifa quest is, but uh, that was the second to last one for Tifa. And uh, it was nice to see Leslie again, but of course they're not going to let him reunite with his fiance because, I mean, that's going to be a big part of the third game. That'd be my guess. Yeah. Because, remember, there was a whole book. There was a side story book written about Leslie and his fiance, as well as Midgar. Yeah, wasn't the guy who was uh, did the Naked Gun trilogy, wasn't his first name Leslie as well? Yes, his name was Leslie Nielsen. And yeah. he was actually a famous, um, serious actor who became a comedian in the 80s. Became a comedic actor. He was a very serious um, actor from the 50s all the way through the 70s. And then in the early 80s, he took a career change because, well, secretly he liked to make people laugh. So he worked on uh, Police Story, and also his really big, his first one was Airplane, was his first comedic role, when he was known as a serious, dramatic actor. <laughs> and uh, one of the that things... Movie was funny. I know. One of the things Leslie Nielsen used to carry around with him that uh, people found kind of disturbing, but he enjoyed it, he would have a whoopee cushion that he would place on people's chairs, and then when they would sit down, well, you know what whoopee cushions do, and he'd bur burst out laughing. So he did that from the 1980s oh all the way through the 2000s when he passed away. That's really funny. Yeah, he, I mean, he loved to make people laugh. That's why, you know, his job was as a serious actor, so when he had a chance to actually do something different with the airplane movie, uh, you know, that changed mm. his career trajectory. He ended up becoming a, a, a comedian like he always wanted to be. The problem is when he tried out for different roles, um, they would only hire him as a serious actor when he wanted to be something more than a serious actor. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool, Luke. That's cool that you know so much about him. Oh, Leslie Nielsen was one of my favorite actors growing up. Yeah, I think my... I must have seen one, of the, one or two of his movies at, from the library. Oh, the lights went down again? Let's have a big round of applause for the happy couple. Who's in the mood to celebrate? Come on! Zelda's more happy because I took care of her thing downstairs. Yeah, Zelda's a lot happier. Hey, Leroy, um, what is the name of Tifa's next quest? Her next story quest. Do you know? Actually, where in the world is the... We need the, um... Should be a quest board here, I think. Yeah, I really, I mean, like, it was just like, it was, we won't really ever get somebody that makes jokes that are just la like, burst laughing out loud funny. Like, it's just, this it's, uh, stuff is really funny. Yep. His Naked Gun movies were based on his uh, short-lived 80s show, Police Story. Oh, Or Police Stories. Oh, or wow. Police Squad. I think it was. That's cool. either Police Story or Police Squad, I don't remember. <laughs> but the, um, the <laughs> opening to that with his, like, uh, car, like, going all over the place, that was the opening of his TV show. Oh, wow. So he, basically, the Naked Gun movies is just a continuation of that wacky TV show. Oh, wow. But it's a little different because some of the characters are different. Yeah. Like, Nordberg didn't exist in the original, like, 80s show. But I, I believe some of the other characters did. And his love interest didn't exist in the original show because the original show was a parody of, um, Friday and, uh, of Dragnet. Oh my gosh, I saw Dragnet back in the day. Yeah. From the public library. That was a cool show. Yeah, his original show, um, which I can't remember the name of it. It was in the 80s. 
it was the you know the precursor to the um, Naked Gun movies. It was basically a spoof of the um, Dragnet uh, show. Or at, at least I think it was called Dragnet. Police Squad, one of my favorite comedy shows ever, is the Silver Song. Okay, so it was Police Squad. Okay, that's good. Police Story is Jackie Chan, and that's uh, somewhat serious. Yep, that's true. Uh, Chad, he was Mr. Magoo as well. Though. Yep, he did live action Mr. Magoo. Mm. He made a lot of movies. He was he, really funny. He made 20 years of comedies, too. Like the 90s and the 2000s, he made a lot of comedies. He left us with a lot of mm. gems. Yeah, jokes cannot be funny nowadays without someone being offended. True, Brandon. We haven't had a parody movie in years. That's, I mean, that's the funny thing about those movies is everything was offensive, but it was hilarious. That was why it was funny, because it was offensive. <laughs> it, was like, it wasn't that bad, though. It was just hilarious. Dragnet is the... Is the character Friday, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. I believe so. That's what I remember. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't, as a culture, uh, one of the last parody movies I remember is when they made fun of Spider-Man. And when they made fun of um, one other movie. And Hollywood has kind of, they're too scared to tackle comedy. So the comedies that they do only makes fun of white guys as the basis of their jokes. And that gets then, stale real quick. Even then, it's like, they can't even oh, make fun of somebody for, like, they can't even call someone shorty or baldy or yep. or lay off the donuts, pal. Or they yep. can't make fun of any aspect of a person whatsoever. Like, or like, well, this guy, you know, like, four eyes or any kind of insults that I used to use in the 90s or anything. It's, even if you're talking to a bad guy who's literally, like, doing evil stuff, it used to be like, oh, yeah, he's bad, so you can literally just make fun of him, you know? Like, you can call Lex Luthor Baldy or something. But now it's like, oh, no, you can't because that could be offensive to other people. It's like, but you're not talking to other people. You're talking to the villain, like... Right. <laughs> the people just don't even understand, like, I don't know why. That's what I don't understand is, like, my humor back in the day where I was making fun of the game characters. Then people were like, years later, they were angry at me. And they were like, someone might have a face like that. It's like, but it's a character model. Like, nobody does have a face like this. They're like, someone might, you might find someone someday that does. It's like... But I've never seen anyone with a face like this, ever. Like, this is a character model in a video game. <laughs> like, they don't, they've never heard of anyone whose face looks like that. Like, yeah, it's just, it's um, just strange. Guys, does the red make you faster, or is this making him slower? Is this ruining his stats, or making his stats better? Is this making his stats better or worse? Oh my gosh, look at your chocobo all decked out, Luke. Yeah, we made a fancy chocobo. It's funny because I even like took time to tell people like online before I was like, well, if I ever met somebody with a face that looked all polygon and stuff like this, I would not make fun of them in real life, just in the video <laughs> game. Cloud! I can't believe it. This is really happening. We're about to race in the gold cup. Oh, hell. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. We made it! <laughs> Rain it in. Couldn't even if I wanted. Okay, Cloud. Your bird's ready and raring to go. All that's left is... <sighs> Cheek. If that ain't the stupidest. Obviously, some sore losers are trying to raise a stink. We'd best nip this thing in the bud. You tell them the reason we keep winning is because we know how to take care of our birds. Long time no see, Merc. And Miss Tifa, too. Should have told me you were dropping by. Would have given you the royal treatment. Oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm surprised to see your name on the jockey list. What sparked your interest in bird racing? This and that. Fell into it, did you? Well, you're a natural. Not just anybody can break my ace's streak. <laughs> that was just a practice race. 
My official record is still pristine. This is the Gold Cup. The contest for which Hyperion and I have trained non-stop. You got the drop on us before, but you won't get lucky twice. Now we're talking. You two are gonna give the people a race to remember. <laughs> You're... Billy, I work on Bill's ranch. You might remember my parents, Will and Clara, since you killed them. Did I? Don't play dumb. You were mad their business was eating into your profits. So you got them addicted to gambling. It was all part of your grand plan. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't say the story is that simple. But the truth can be one bitter drink. And you ain't nowhere near old enough to keep it down. I ain't just some stupid kid. And I'll prove it to you. If my man here wins the gold cup, that's proof I'm old enough to hear your truth. You're on. Piddly little ranch like yours ain't got a chance. But best of luck to y'all. Sure about this? Pressure's on now. Yeah, well, all I gotta do is win it all, right? And this is really the last Tifa quest? Bummer. I like their interaction with each other. Alright, let's do this. Two cats on both sides. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gold Saucers Chocobo Racetrack which today plays host to racing's biggest competition, the Gold Cup. Over three grueling races, our contenders will push themselves to the limit. The world is watching with bated breath as the best of the best take their places for what will surely be one heck of a race. Fan favorite Joe will be riding the Chocobo Hyperion for Sam's delivery service. And given his track record, many expect the decorated champion to be first across the finish line. All right, folks, our contenders are ready. Every gate is occupied, so this is it. The moment you've been waiting for, the Gold Cup. That's a lot of uh, Chocobo. Right, here we go. I, I don't even have a lay of the land, though, so this is going to be interesting. Like, I don't... I don't even know the courses. Like, the the way I won before is I actually knew the courses. Uh-oh. Oof. Yeah, I don't know which way to go or anything. Yeah, definitely, Brandon, that uh, Friends probably couldn't re-release because of the jokes in it. Friends still is on... It, it's... It's on streaming platforms. Oh, you're saying that they wouldn't reboot reboot it. That's what you mean. If they did reboot it, they would they would change it. it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I understand what like I don't know people were talking about like you know like not all the like making fun of people and stuff was that funny anyway. But yeah, I mean some of the jokes uh, we had in the 80s and 90s were kind of dumb, but. At least it was funny to laugh at something dumb. Like, at least we could just laugh at it, even if it didn't make sense. It, they have the freedom to just make a joke about stuff. I, without... I hate to tell you this, guys and gals, but you are basically living in a cycle. The 70s mm -hmm. was a time period that was very dark. And, like, they had void of humor. They had, like, no branding mascots. They had very depressing songs. That's kind of what we are in now. That's what the 2020s like, has been. We're like in the 70s. You're in the 70s again. And the 80s is going to come back. Like the age of artistic stuff and expression and people like, you know, doing like, uh, we'll say offensive things. And all that stuff is going to come back because society is getting like sick of it. Like this age that you're living in right now is not going to continue. Like it is going to disappear because people... Not just gamers. Like, regular people are starting to stand up to this nonsense, and they're going to continue to, yeah. because it's nonsense. I mean, it's true that, like, you know, like, some of the stuff, like, um, that people were saying in the chat, like, you, it's true that if you don't have as much censorship, then you have a lot of really bad stuff as well, but 
Yeah, that's true. You have a lot of really bad stuff that comes out as well, but the problem is uh -oh. when you censor it too much, it makes people just so afraid to laugh at anything. It makes it, um, like, you just have to take the good with the bad in the way, in a way, like, you just have to accept, like, if you're going to be able to laugh at stuff, then, yeah, people are going to misuse it and do really stupid stuff, like... I can't even see this guy. You know, like, the... You know, like, really dumb stuff that they... You know, there's a lot of really dumb stuff that people did, too, back in the day, but... But but the the fact that you could also make funny movies as well... Darn. You could make you could make tasteless jokes, but you could also make tasteful funny jokes as well. So, yeah, I mean, like... It's just, like, the idea of the freedom of being able to do it. That's how I feel, but I understand. Everyone has their own opinion on it, so... Okay, so... We got second place. That's not good. Yeah. Alright, second race. Sorry, I didn't mean to get too into it. No, I mean, there's three races, though. I don't have to get first on every single race. I just have to beat Empyreon, or whatever his name is. We hope you're ready for more. That's all I have to do. Because we're just getting started. Here comes our And also, I'm not familiar with the courses, either. This is a brand new course. Undo I didn't even see any shortcuts that time, either. So, Empyreon, I was actually neck and neck with the guy, and then I got, you know, a stage hazard got me. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it might take a couple attempts. I'll probably have to do the, you know, this race one or two times. Ow. Because I'm going to have to get the lay of the course. And the only way I can do that is by restarting. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be able to, you know, be ah, great at racing my first time through. Because there's, there's so much going on. Like, there's so many obstacles, it's insane. Um, yeah. And I'm in... I'm in third place right now. Okay, so I don't... Now I'm in fourth place, just like that. So, does it matter what color is Oh my gosh. Well, blue is the fastest, because blue oh. is the last Chocobo, I believe. Oh, some of the other people don't have a blue one. No. So, do you think you could possibly do this race without a blue chocobo? No. Oh. No. But see how fast that other guy is? He's gone. Like, I don't even see him. So this is the problem that I had last time, is I'm in second place, but I don't even see the guy. He's, like, nowhere yeah. to be seen. I'm just trying to think of, like, when... Powerpuff Girls was the 2000s, right? Or was it yeah. 90s? Like, I just remember, like, watching Powerpuff Girls years after, and I imagine it is way more funny than it was. I was like, oh, I just imagine this way more funny. But, I mean, it's still really cute, though. Even though the jokes aren't, like, extremely, like, intricately written or anything, it's still pretty funny, though. It, it's just kind of is what it is. It's just a cute show, you know? Okay, so there, I don't think there's any shortcuts here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't think this race has any shortcuts. It, those things, like, uh, throw you back. So. Well, yeah, there's obstacles. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, now if I if I exit out of the race, though, I'll have to do it all over again, but I think I should. Because I'm not going to catch him. He's gone. Like, he is, he is too far ahead. It's like, it's more than, he's, I don't even know how many seconds ahead he is. He's, he's gone. But I believe there's no shortcuts in this race at all. I don't think so. It was 1998. Awesome. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, easy buddy. I love that show, says, Je says Jeffrey. Yeah, and I know Brandon likes it too, and I know a lot of people like it. See, I'm going chat. full speed. I can't even catch him. Oh, there he is. Wait. Yeah, there he is. We're close. We're so close. Man, I messed up. Yeah, same. Well, I'll wait till you're done. That guy's ahead of you. Oh, yeah, wow. he's gone. Yeah, like, same with Johnny Bravo. I imagine that show way more funny than it was. When I rewatched it, it was like, oh, it's the same kind of joke over and over again. But it was still funny, though. Yeah, of course. Like, but I'm I'm telling you, there simple, there are things funny. that go in cycles. Like I hate to tell people this, but like it does. Yeah. You know? But like, even though like some of the 
humor was kind of weird in the 90s. Like, even when I was alive in the 90s, I was like, man, all these jokes are weird. But then now, today, where no one can even make a joke, now I'm like, wait, let's bring the 90s back. Because can- <sighs> cancel culture and rioting is a form of protesting. The 70s was protest culture. Yeah. 2000, 2020s has been protest books. culture. Protest movies, everything has to be inclusive, everything has to be blah, 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 blah. That's all a form of protest. Anger. Just like the 70s. So, I mean, another age of artistic freedom is coming. And it's going to crush the stuff that's happening because you're already seeing it right now. Stellar Blade, even though it's basically a game that's been around, like that style of game was around like 10 years ago, it's making a comeback and that's what gamers want. We need a big, we need more lollipop chainsaw and bikini zombie slayers to like, to basically like break open the barrier of like what's acceptable. But there doesn't need to be a barrier if they would just allow these type of games to exist and you know stop trying to talk to the U.S. government about gamers being, you know, terrorists and stuff like that. Yeah. It's absurd. Now they're making yeah they're trying to make laws where like I, I know. If somebody says something rude to you in a game, you can get arrested in real life. So it's basically like a new form of swatting now. <laughs> so it's like, what? So yeah. you make fun of somebody in a game? Like, what if you, like, beat them as Kirby and Smash, and then the FBI shows up at your house? It's like, pull you! It's like, now you're arrested. Now you're like... arrested for being a toxic gamer. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know what counts. Like, so you can't trash talk people in games anymore. You're gonna, you're gonna go to prison for trash talking. Right. I don't know. Yeah, people are too soft. But, I mean, it's gonna backfire. It just, everything goes in cycles. Just like, you know how in the game industry, like, there are what we call fads where... There are certain games that are popular for like one decade, and then there's another game that uh, franchise or genre that takes its place. Everything goes in cycles. It just does. That's how the market works. My question is then, can people get arrested in the stands of sporting events for trick fucking each other? Uh, not yet. Like if but... they yell at somebody like, "Hey, batter, learn how to swing," then you get arrested for saying Let something. Let the parrot pitch. <laughs> like what? Now you can't even trash talk. Are gonna are are they gonna listen in on people's living rooms when you're screaming at the TV at the Super Bowl and then they come arrest you? Don't give them ideas. Because like, what? Where do you draw the line at this point? There is no line. That's the problem. There needs to be a line. <laughs> like now you can't even trash talk to somebody. It's just weird. All right. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna beat this guy. Maybe we will. I mean, he's right ahead of us. I can see him above me. I see him. He's right up there. See him? Yeah. So if I can beat him on this lap, crap, um, then I can take him. Maybe. He's right up there. He's right there. He's literally right there. My chocobo is actually faster than his, and he has to do all this stuff, all this fancy stuff to get away from me. But my base speed is actually faster than him. See? Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. I saw what happened, Luke. I'm watching it happen in real time. He's done. Goodbye. See? You are the weakest link. No! No! It's over! Oh! It's over! Oh, no, Luke! Sorry, Link. Oh, no. I am just didn't mean to scream. I was just Link, like, Link no. does not like loud noises. I'm so sorry, Linky. I'm sorry. I was just, like, so sad for you because I thought that was the end. It, it all it takes is one screw line. up. It just takes one. I thought that was the finish line, Luke. No, it's not the finish line yet. We're almost there. I didn't mean to scream. My, I'm about to get an ear infection, I think. Oh, I hope not. Oh. We did it! I Drifting doesn't work for me. I slam into the wall. Sorry. I didn't mean RIP headphone use. Either we tied or... I don't know. I, I might have still had to beat him in the first race. I guess we'll find out. He got second place, though. Let's see. Overall... Overall, I won? Really? How? It doesn't matter. Gold Cup complete. I think. Cloud Strike, riding for Bill's Chocobo Ranch, has won the cup in a stunning... That's a good race. It looks like seven must have been his lucky number. 
No one saw that snake in the grasslands coming, and now his team is savoring the sweet taste of victory. <laughs> Just got this. That was that was kind of fun. All right, well well done, Cloud. Well done. Letting me breathe. <laughs> nice riding. Thanks. There's a streak running bastard. You stole the title right out from under my nose. Well, Hyperion didn't make it easy. <laughs> I'd hope not. Mighty fine bird you raised. He beat mine fair and square. Just tell me. What happened to my parents? I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. <sighs> Son. Do you know what kind of business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running? Wild Chocobo Conservation. It's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds. And what's bad for them is bad for business. Unfortunately, nobody seemed to care. Saving the planet ain't cheap, you see. Folks know somebody's got to pay for it. But they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on. Your parents. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, and passion. Thing is, none of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right till they were swimming in debt which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. <sighs> Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh, time, but that sleazy son uh, bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them yeah, off yeah, to yeah. Shinra <laughs> for their experiments. Will and Claire figured it was the only way they'd be able to save their business. So they signed up. <laughs> While later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Claire's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I, so I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. Not with Shinra in the wings. That's for sure. They say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south, but they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work, and food to eat. I can't believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hell of a legacy to live up to. But if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, You'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Papa too. Call it. Hey. 
Heads or tails, son. Get it right, and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. You truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad. I... I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why'd he make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam. Knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this, but seeking revenge would be stupid. I know. Still, if an opportunity did happen to come along, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm a world famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Uh. -uh. <laughs> you had me going there. Wait, my relationship with Tifa changed? What'd I do? Did I do something bad? Tifa? Uh... Oops. Well, I mean, I might have done something bad. I don't know. No. I won't know until I see Tifa again. You already got the date, I guess. Well, I got the date, but I wanted her to stay light blue. Tifa will remember that. I don't even know what you said. I I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice to say yes or no. I just said something. Cloud just spoke cloudy and... You did something good, says Miss Deanna. I hope so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't well, we know did... We actually did Trouble in Paradise, guys and gals, and we did the, uh, the Gold Cup. Captain Zack says, no more Tifa for poor Luke. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we'll find out if Luke messed up or not. Welcome, no reason to stay at the Gold Saucer anymore. I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's it. So we're moving on with the story now. Yes, I wish to depart the Gold Saucer. Get me out of here. Safe travels. Am I done with side quests forever? No. But that does it for uh, this region. There are other side quests to do. I think she's still light blue. Or that's Barrett. Uh, I can't tell. We have to get out of the buggy for me to tell. Tifa, where you at? Because remember, guys, we have to do Gilgamesh. But we won't be doing Gilgamesh today. Obviously, Gilgamesh is gonna... Um, is she light blue? And everybody else is blue? Mm. She's blinking, so... She's blinking happy, so I guess she's okay. Yeah. Alright, um... Yep. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that was the last Tifa side quest, though. And that golden thing was actually... That was really exciting, though, because we almost actually didn't get gold. But I knew if I could win first in two races, you know. Yeah. But Link absolutely hates yelling, so Link bolted. Sorry, I just thought you were going to lose the race. Link doesn't... No, I'm the one who yelled, too. Link doesn't like loud noises. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, if you want Final Fantasy to continue, uh, tomorrow, 1,000 views is needed. We're ending the stream at 700, so you need 8, 9, 1,000. So 300 views by tomorrow morning. Ace Attorney is back tomorrow. Spider-Man is next. 
Spider-Man will be starting up at 10 o'clock exactly because I need to upload the YouTube short. I need to get a bowl of cereal in me. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think what else I need to do. I need to set up whatever my 1 a.m. stream is going to be. And then I'm going to have to erase a bunch of games on my PlayStation to reload Suicide Squad somehow. And oh my start recording episodes of... I'm going to have a, a super long day today. Sorry about that. No, it's, it's fine. Well, I mean, it'd be great if I could live stream on the other channel, but I can't. So I have to do uploads. This is where I would punch the wall with my fist. Hmm. I don't think the Joker DLC is going to be very long, though. It would probably be like two and a half hours. Sorry. I don't I don't think it's going to be very long at all. Sorry you have to play that terrible game. The Suicide Squad, but why? Ow. Yeah. Because it's there. Because it's there. Alright, so anyway, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching Final Fantasy. We hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys will uh, support this stream so you can get another episode of Final Fantasy tomorrow. As mm. we're back to continuing the story for now, and then uh, Gilgamesh in the future. I need to find out how to get Gilgamesh, though. So I'd like to basically progress the story and do a little bit of Gilgamesh stuff. Um, or maybe do a stream where I just tackle all the Gilgamesh stuff in one stream. Like, do, like, a three-hour stream or something. I don't know. All right, people. Um, see you on uh, Spider-Man in a little bit. God bless. Happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys in a bit.